Roy, hello. Um, Nick. First of all, uh, we see Frank alongside you. Could you just confirm he is going to be captain tomorrow? Well, Frank's always been the captain in, uh, in Steve's absence. I appointed him vice captain when I, when I started over a year ago. But um, in actual fact, tomorrow, uh, Frank and I have discussed this, and Frank's happy for Ashley to lead the, lead the team onto the, onto the field in celebration of its 100th cap, which he'll receive tomorrow. It's actually his 102nd appearance, but he'll receive his cap tomorrow. So. Frank and I are happy that he will lead the team out. You've just come down from uh, St George's Park. Could you just uh, update us on any fitness issues? I know Danny Welbeck didn't train yesterday. No, Danny, unfortunately, at the moment, is still suffering from that knee injury that he, that he had when he came and, and joined up with us on Sunday night. He's receiving constant treatment, and we're, we're constantly hoping that uh, he'll recover from it. But it seems unlikely that that will be in time for the game tomorrow evening, but we still harbour hopes that by the time we play Brazil on Sunday, he'll be fit. Ireland tomorrow, uh, a prestigious part of the 150th anniversary celebrations. How much are you looking forward to uh, England playing the Republic? We haven't done this for many years, have we? No, I'm looking forward to it very much. I mean, the Republic of Ireland have got a fantastic record, really, not least of all recently under, under Giovanni, because they've... They've reached the major tournaments and uh, they've shown that they're a, a difficult team for any any opponent. I look forward to all the matches we play at Wembley in front of our home crowd and I think that it's it's very fitting that we, we now play one of the other home nations and in Ireland we know we're giving ourselves the type of uh, quality of game, if you like, which will, will help us prepare for our important qualifiers coming up in September, October. How hopeful are you that you get a, a positive response to your letter to, to the fans about respecting the Irish? And how important is it that you do get a, a positive response? Well, it, it is very important, I think. I, uh, it almost goes without saying that you want fans to show respect to all opponents. And in particular, um, I'm hoping that tomorrow night, this being such an important part of our, our jubileum year, that you know, our fans are going to come there to support us, to, to cheer us on to, to a victory, we hope. But I hope that's not going to have any um, impact, if you like, on, on the opponent. So uh, I was very happy to send out the letter. I'm very happy with everything the FA has, has done to try and make sure that the game is played in the right spirit. As I know it will be on the field, and we can only hope that our fans, uh, and the Irish fans for that matter, that they also show the level of respect that I'm sure all of us would, would, would hope to see in a match of this, of this uh, type. Were you quite happy to, to say to Ash, yes, go and you lead the team out tomorrow? Yeah, very much, very much. I think um, not only in, in getting 100 caps, but I think the way he's performed over those 100 caps, the most consistent left-back probably in world football over such a long period of time. It's, a, it's the perfect gesture and uh, very much deserved from him. And as a teammate of his at club level and international, very happy for him. These two games are a great opportunity for England to finish their season with a flourish, aren't they? Yes, uh, we're, um, we're always aware that, be it qualifiers or friendlies, the performance, the trying to impress the manager, trying to train together because we don't get so much time together as a group. So every training session, every game is of huge importance. And um, considering we've got, we know we've got the qualifiers coming early next season, we want to be playing at our best, show what we can do against two very good teams. Um, you know, Republic of Ireland, we know, and uh, obviously the Brazil game afterwards, we're, we've got our eye on both of them. And as one of the seniors in the uh, England squad these days, do you uh, also enjoy the responsibility of seeing the younger players coming through and, and, and making sure that they integrate well? Yeah, very much. I think that's our responsibility. And um, there's a few of us now that the other side of 30, with a lot of caps behind us, we have to accept that responsibility and, and take charge or help people around us, whether it be training, whether it be words of advice or on the pitch. So. Um, it's very exciting, I think, times for us um, since the last World Cup and Euros we've developed. The youngsters are all coming through and performing at such a high level that if we can help them with a little bit of experience along the way, I think they help us with their energy and enthusiasm. So it's a two-way thing.